To have faith is to trust yourself to the water. When you swim you don't grab hold of the water, because if you do you will sink and drown. Instead you relax and float. Muddy water is best cleared by leaving it alone. One is a great deal less anxious, if one feels perfectly free to be anxious. And the same may be said of guilt. No one is more dangerously insane than one who is sane all the time. He is like a steel bridge without flexibility, and the order of his life is rigid and brittle. Never pretend to a love which you do not actually feel, for love is not ours to command. Whether we like it or not, change comes, and the greater the resistance, the greater the pain. If the universe is meaningless, so is the statement that it is so. If this world is a vicious trap, so is its accuser, and the pot is calling the kettle black. It's better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing, than a long life spent in a miserable way. This is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Instant coffee for example, is a well-deserved punishment for being in a hurry to reach the future. For if we open our eyes and see clearly, it becomes obvious that there is no other time than this instant, and that the past and the future are abstractions without any concrete reality. A man does not really begin to be alive until he has lost himself, until he has released the anxious grasp, which he normally holds upon his life, his property, his reputation and position. What we have to discover is that there is no safety, that seeking is painful, and that when we imagine that we have found it, we don't like it. Life is like music for its own sake. We are living in an eternal now, and when we listen to music we are not listening to the past, we are not listening to the future, we are listening to an expanded present. The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple. And yet, everybody rushes around in a great panic, as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. Things are as they are. Looking out into the universe at night, we make no comparisons between right and wrong stars, nor between well and badly arranged constellations. Your body does not eliminate poisons by knowing their names. To try to control fear or depression or boredom by calling them names, 
is to resort to superstition of trust in curses and invocations. It is so easy to see why this does not work. Peace can be made only by those who are peaceful, and love can be shown only by those who love. No work of love will flourish out of guilt, fear, or hollowness of heart. Just as no valid plans for the future can be made by those who have no capacity for living now. The Art of Living is neither careless drifting on the one hand nor fearful clinging to the past on the other. It consists in being sensitive to each moment, in regarding it as utterly new and unique, in having the mind open and wholly receptive. When somebody plays music, you listen. You just follow those sounds, and eventually you understand the music. The point can't be explained in words because music is not words, but after listening for a while, you understand the point of it, and that point is the music itself. In exactly the same way, you can listen to all experiences. To remain stable is to refrain from trying to separate yourself from a pain. Because you know that you cannot. Running away from fear is fear, fighting pain is pain, trying to be brave is being scared. If the mind is in pain, the mind is pain. The thinker has no other form than his thought. There is no escape. <laughs> 